Me gusta porque está linda, me gusta porque está bella, me gusta demasiado bella, me gusta. Ay, mi niña bonita, cosita chula, cosita bonita que yo papá, así como está, así me gusta, me gusta. Ay, me tiene loco, lo quita loco, mamá, no salgas a la calle. to say that fucking uh, Barney's Beanery and uh, supposedly back in the day they had a sign over the bar that said no faggots allowed which is kind of weird so the link <laughs> that's why they let you in there yeah, that's why so that's why delinquent felt a little self-conscious going in here. But <laughs> thankfully, no, those were the past times. He didn't have to deal with those fucking hatings back then. So uh, looks like you had a good time though. I enjoyed it. Yeah. You got your meat. You got I your did. filling and meat. Oh yeah, I got that Cali burger. She was fucking fire. Okay, where to? Hollywood. Hollywood. We can go to the Griffith Observatory. How far is that? Just up the hill. All right. Nice face. It's a pretty face you have there. Sure, you got a pretty mouth. Oh. Damn, are those apartments? Left or right, pick one. Oh, oh no, straight. I is this Hollywood right here? Yeah. I think the whiskey's coming up. Saddle Ranch. Oh, that place is crazy. They sat have their own reality show. They have their own reality show? Uh-huh. What? The fuck is that a house up there? You know uh, Motley Crue, Girls, Girls, Girls? Yeah. That's the strip club. Pink Taco? No, the body shop. <laughs> Pink Taco? Burger King. Oh, Hollywood. Dude, I'm on the ball. You got it right? <laughs> Can you even believe it? <laughs> oh, didn't make it. They don't let cars up, but they'll let bikes up, which is pretty cool. We get to bypass everything. Oh, shit. You've never been to the Griffith Observatory? Never. Oh, shit, dude. You're going to love it. Dig alert site. I dig it. I dig it. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> That's some UK style shit here. Looks like we're at the Grand Theft Auto 5 fucking online match area, fixing to bust some fucking deathmatch while overlooking the LA view. Oh yeah. Let's go right over the Hollywood sign there. Right here we got two lovely gentlemen that are coming with us. So what's uh, I hear you had an accurate history lesson about this place at once in your life. This, yeah, what happened? This facility was built in 1742 and uh, 1742 by Thomas Jefferson, and he actually had another 
uh, observatory that he built back east, mm. um, his slaves built it all. And he oh, shit. He personally whip each and every one of them into doing that. Oh, wow. It's really sad. But the times have changed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, you know, it's still a monument. Yeah. Um, there, there actually isn't any type of observing observing that goes on here. It's It was actually a torture chamber. Oh, wow. For, uh, Soviets in the Soviet era. Okay. Um, Thomas Jefferson was a forerunner for uh, anti-Soviet, anti-communist uh, history, and he built this facility completely to torture Soviets. Oh shit! Um, really, just rid the world of you know any type of evil. Oh man! Dirty Russian or whoever. You know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow. Oh. In his words, not in my words. I'm not racist. That sounds like quite the story to uh, come up on. So I'm th thanks for sharing that with us. I'm pretty sure everybody will happy be happy to hear. Yeah. Oh, Griffith, Griffith Observatory. There we go. Can't even say it. Not an entrance, eh? Well, oh, looks like we're making it an entrance. Oh, nice, nice. Hit in the pendulum, this is what the story was written after. Oh, really? Very, uh, he was actually a midget, and they dropped him there. And uh, yeah, the hit in the pendulum was really tragic. Jeez. Good read. Good read, Good read indeed. Well, look at this. Uh, Moon phases. Was originally, there was a coliseum next to the observatory as well. Oh, wow. Where you would. Um, Vomit. Oh, okay. Uh, people would watch you and clap for you, cheer for you. Basically, the bigger the load, the yeah. more of the clapping and cheering. Okay. Competitions from all over the world. People came here. Presidents. Um, oh, geez. Circus freaks. Everyone. Live image of the sun, eh? Wow. That's pretty live. There used to be a button you could press here to zoom in or something. Yeah. Enhance. Or to uh, fire the yeah, fire the missiles. <laughs> oh wow! All kinds of sun ropes, sunbeam ropes. It's a rope-filled area. Yeah. I don't think she wants you to put your. Oh my gosh! Look at all the magical stars. This is so magical of an experience that I'm having right now. I'm just walking through many stars. Are actually meteorites. All of this fell from the sky. Oh yeah. Which which has given some sort of valid evidence that there's life on other planets. Yeah. Jeez. Chill. I think we're about to go insert ourselves into the Jetsons' ass. The depths of space. Space exploration transformed our understanding of the cosmos and our place in it. As we learn more about the sky, our horizons broadened. Look at your anus. Like that. Let's go take a stroll out to outside. Cafe and gift shop. I'll show you a spiraling black hole. Oh, geez, Louise. All right, let's get some fucking fat view ropes. View ropes? Any view ropes up here? Yeah? Oh, okay. Oh, fuck yeah. Boom, yeah, like a little booty. Boom, yeah, like a thumb booty. Oh, yeah. Oh, fuck, yeah. This dome contains the triple beam, coalesced, which reflects sunlight to the solar telescopes. Whew. This looks just like gr fucking Grand Theft Auto V. Holy shit. All right, so uh, Klaus, I hear you have some more history lessons for us and the viewers at home. What exactly is it? The founders, uh, which were Illuminati, mm -hmm. um, were 
very anti-religion. So you actually see an inverted cross here on oh. the lawn. Yeah. And uh, from space from the sky, it's yeah. definitely an inverted cross. Oh, geez. And, uh, definitely not an upright. I could see the resemblance if you were to know that. Yeah. And Unless you flip around. You know, it's the Illuminati. And so there's mirrors. Also another part of this place, uh, they designed a series of mirrors to channel the sunlight and they would shoot that sunlight. They reflected at a 36 degree annual. There was a satellite that was put up in the 20s um, before the Russians. It was really secret. And 1820. Oh. And, uh, huh. It would catch that sunlight and it would just attack other countries. Oh, God. Um, Tesla, Nikola Tesla, was experimenting with his series of mirrors and satellites also and um, burned down a large portion of forest. He, they said it was electricity, but he actually never studied electricity. He actually hated electricity. He Oof. Shocked as a child playing with outlets. And so this is stuff you don't hear in the textbooks. No. Oh, yeah. Well, I appreciate your history lesson, man. That's shit. I'm pretty sure everybody at home will appreciate that. I'm here for you guys. See, you guys, the more you know, you learn something new every day. And if you don't know, now you know, nigga. So uh, let's go ahead and show you guys the rest of the views up here. You can see downtown Los Angeles. Of course, of course. Shit's a goody licious view. Goody licious indeed. I don't know how much more majestic these views can get. This is pretty fucking sick. And as you can see, you got some fucking old school doors that look like they've been pissed on a hundred times. And we got the tele rope. Oh yeah. Don't film it, don't film it. Hey, you gotta get my written consent for that, buddy. What'd you think of the Griffith Observatory? Shit was fire. Fire! Did you learn a couple things from, Cla <laughs> from Klaus? Yeah, Klaus gave a pretty solid uh, history lesson today. Normally you'd say, that was a pretty good synopsis. Yeah, Klaus did have some pretty solid synopsises. Look at the Rasta bus. Oh yeah, Rasta the bus I go. They have a, uh, for every ticket they give you a joint. Hot box. Smoke weed every day. Tunnel exhaust. What the fuck? Somebody in the middle of the road right here. Oh, they're running. Running? Yeah. <laughs> flames are coming out. A lot of flames are shooting out of your pipe. Yeah? Like fucking yellow big flames. <laughs> oh my god. That dude like screamed like a little girl, dude. If that dude if he, he's got to be gay by the way he acted just now. <laughs> oh, I don't want to see that. Like, I don't know how to better explain it, but that guy like... Like, you ever see like a girl see a mouse and jump up on the couch? Yeah. It, it, it was that reaction. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I could tell when, we, when I started ripping, they were all jumping towards the wall all scared. <laughs> and we weren't even close. <laughs> I love you. I love you. Much fucking love and peace and chicken grease.